Power to weight ratio or specific power or power to mass ratio is a calculation commonly applied to engines and mobile power sources to enable the comparison of one unit or design to another. Power to weight ratio is a measurement of actual performance of any engine or power source. It is also used as a measurement of performance of a vehicle as a whole, with the engine's power output being divided by the weight or mass of the vehicle, to give a metric that is independent of the vehicle's size. Power to weight is often quoted by manufacturers at the peak value, but the actual value may vary in use and variations will affect performance. The inverse of power to weight, weight to power ratio power loading is a calculation commonly applied to aircraft, cars, and vehicles in general, to enable the comparison of one vehicle's performance to another. Power to weight ratio is equal to thrust per unit mass multiplied by the velocity of any vehicle. Topic. Power to weight specific power. The power to weight ratio specific power formula for an engine power plant is the power generated by the engine divided by the mass. Weight in this context is a colloquial term for mass. To see this, note that what an engineer means by the power to weight ratio of an electric motor is not infinite in a zero gravity environment. A typical turbocharged V8 diesel engine might have an engine power of 250 kilowatts, 340 horsepower, and a mass of 380 kilograms, 840 pounds, giving it a power to weight ratio of 0.65 kilowatts per kilogram, 0.40 horsepower per pound. Examples of high power to weight ratios can often be found in turbines. This is because of their ability to operate at very high speeds. For example, the Space Shuttle's main engines use turbopumps machines consisting of a pump driven by a turbine engine to feed the propellants liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen into the engine's combustion chamber. The original liquid hydrogen turbopump is similar in size to an automobile engine weighing approximately 352 kilograms 775 pounds and produces 72,000 horsepower 53.6 megawatts for a power to weight ratio of 153 kilowatts per kilogram 93 horsepower per pound. Topic: Physical interpretation In classical mechanics, instantaneous power is the limiting value of the average work done per unit time as the time interval delta t approaches zero, i.e. the derivative with respect to time of the work done. P equals lim delta t zero delta w t delta t equals lim delta t 0 p a v g equals d d t w t Display style p equals lim underscore delta t right arrow zero t f r a c delta w t delta t equals lim underscore delta t right arrow zero p underscore mathrm a v g equals frac d d t w t. The typically used metrical unit of the power to weight ratio is w k g. Display style tfrac w kilogram, which equals m two s three. Display style tfrac m caret two s caret three. This fact allows one to express the power to weight ratio purely by SI base units. A vehicle's power to weight ratio equals its acceleration times its velocity, so at twice the velocity, it experiences half the acceleration, all else being equal. Topic. Propulsive power 
if the work to be done is rectilinear motion of a body with constant mass m display style m whose center of mass is to be accelerated along a possibly non straight to a speed v t display style math bf v t an angle phi display style phi with respect to the center and radial of a gravitational field by an onboard power plant then the associated kinetic energy is e k equals 1 2 m v t 2 display style e underscore k equals t f r a c 1 2 m math b f v t caret 2 where m display style m is mass of the body v t display style math bf vt is speed of the center of mass of the body changing with time the work energy principle states that the work done to the object over a period of time is equal to the difference in its total energy over that period of time so the rate at which work is done is equal to the rate of change of the kinetic energy in the absence of potential energy changes the work done from time t to time t plus delta t along the path c is defined as the line integral c f d x equals t t plus delta t f v t d t Display style int underscore C Math BF F C D O T D Math BF X equals int underscore T carrot T plus delta T Math BF F C D O T Math BF V T D T So the fundamental theorem of calculus has that power is given by F T V T equals M a T V T equals Tau T Omega T Display style Math BF F T C D O T Math BF V T equals M Math BF A T C D O T Math BF V T equals Math BF Tau T C D O T Math BF Omega T Where A T equals D D T V T Display style Math BF A T equals frac D D T Math BF V T is acceleration of the center of mass of the body, changing with time. F T Display style Math BF F T is linear force, or thrust, applied upon the center of mass of the body, changing with time. V T display style math bf v t is velocity of the center of mass of the body changing with time tau t display style math bf tau t is torque applied upon the center of mass of the body changing with time omega t display style math bf omega t is angular velocity of the center of mass of the body, changing with time. In propulsion, power is only delivered if the power plant is in motion, and is transmitted to cause the body to be in motion. It is typically assumed here that mechanical transmission allows the power plant to operate at peak output power. This assumption allows engine tuning to trade power band width and engine mass for transmission complexity and mass. Electric motors do not suffer from this trade-off, instead trading their high torque for traction at low speed. The power advantage or power to weight ratio is then P to W equals A T 
v t display style m box p to w equals math b f a t math b f v t where v t display style math b f v t is linear speed of the center of mass of the body. Topic. Engine power The actual useful power of any traction engine can be calculated using a dynamometer to measure torque and rotational speed, with peak power sustained when the transmission and or operator keeps the product of torque and rotational speed maximized. For jet engines there is E be usefully calculated there, for rockets there is typically no cruise speed, so it is less meaningful. Peak power of a traction engine occurs at a rotational speed higher than the speed when torque is maximized and at or below the maximum rated rotational speed, max RPM. A rapidly falling torque curve would correspond with sharp torque and power curve peaks around their maxima at similar rotational speed, for example a small, lightweight engine with a large turbocharger. A slowly falling or near flat torque curve would correspond with a slowly rising power curve up to a maximum at a rotational speed close to max RPM, for example a large, heavy multi-cylinder engine suitable for cargo, hauling. A falling torque curve could correspond with a near flat power curve across rotational speeds for smooth handling at different vehicle speeds, such as a traction electric motor. Topic. Examples Topic. Engines Topic. Heat engines and heat pumps Thermal energy is made up from molecular kinetic energy and latent phase energy. Heat engines are able to convert thermal energy in the form of a temperature gradient between a hot source and a cold sink into other desirable mechanical work. Heat pumps take mechanical work to regenerate thermal energy in a temperature gradient. Care should be made when interpreting propulsive power, especially for jet engines and rockets, deliverable from heat engines to a vehicle. Topic. Electric motors and electromotive generators An electric motor uses electrical energy to provide mechanical work, usually through the interaction of a magnetic field and current-carrying conductors. By the interaction of mechanical work on an electrical conductor in a magnetic field, electrical energy can be generated. Topic. Fluid engines and fluid pumps Fluids liquid and gas can be used to transmit and or store energy using pressure and other fluid properties. Hydraulic liquid and pneumatic gas engines convert fluid pressure into other desirable mechanical or electrical work. Fluid pumps convert mechanical or electrical work into movement or pressure changes of a fluid, or storage in a pressure vessel. Topic. Thermoelectric generators and electrothermal actuators A variety of effects can be harnessed to produce thermoelectricity, thermionic emission, pyroelectricity and piezoelectricity. Electrical resistance and ferromagnetism of materials can be harnessed to generate thermoacoustic energy from an electric current. Topic. Electrochemical galvanic and electrostatic cell systems Topic. Closed cell batteries All electrochemical cell batteries deliver a changing voltage as their chemistry changes from charged to discharged. A nominal output voltage and a cutoff voltage are typically specified for a battery by its manufacturer. The output voltage falls to the cutoff voltage when the battery becomes discharged. 
The nominal output voltage is always less than the open circuit voltage produced when the battery is charged. The temperature of a battery can affect the power it can deliver, where lower temperatures reduce power. Total energy delivered from a single charge cycle is affected by both the battery temperature and the power it delivers. If the temperature lowers or the power demand increases, the total energy delivered at the point of discharge is also reduced. Battery discharge profiles are often described in terms of a factor of battery capacity. For example, a battery with a nominal capacity quoted in ampere hours ah, at AC 10 rated discharge current derived in amperes may safely provide a higher discharge current, and therefore higher power to weight ratio, but only with a lower energy capacity. Power to weight ratio for batteries is therefore less meaningful without reference to corresponding energy to weight ratio and cell temperature. This relationship is known as Pukert's law. Topic. Electrostatic, electrolytic and electrochemical capacitors Capacitors store electric charge onto two electrodes separated by an electric field semi-insulating medium. Electrostatic capacitors feature planar electrodes onto which electric charge accumulates. Electrolytic capacitors use a liquid electrolyte as one of the electrodes and the electric double layer effect upon the surface of the dielectric electrolyte boundary to increase the amount of charge stored per unit volume. Electric double layer capacitors extend both electrodes with a nanoporous material such as activated carbon to significantly increase the surface area upon which electric charge can accumulate, reducing the dielectric medium to nanopores and a very thin high permittivity separator. While capacitors tend not to be as temperature sensitive as batteries, they are significantly capacity constrained and without the strength of chemical bonds suffer from self discharge. Power to weight ratio of capacitors is usually higher than batteries because charge transport units within the cell are smaller electrons rather than ions, however energy to weight ratio is conversely usually lower. Topic. Fuel cell stacks and flow cell batteries Fuel cells and flow cells, although perhaps using similar chemistry to batteries, have the distinction of not containing the energy storage medium or fuel. With a continuous flow of fuel and oxidant, available fuel cells and flow cells continue to convert the energy storage medium into electric energy and waste products. Fuel cells distinctly contain a fixed electrolyte whereas flow cells also require a continuous flow of electrolyte. Flow cells typically have the fuel dissolved in the electrolyte. Topic. Photovoltaics Topic. Vehicles Power to weight ratios for vehicles are usually calculated using curb weight for cars or wet weight for motorcycles, that is, excluding weight of the driver and any cargo. This could be slightly misleading, especially with regard to motorcycles, where the driver might weigh one-third to one-half as much as the vehicle itself. In the sport of competitive cycling athletes performance is increasingly being expressed in VAMs and thus as a power to weight ratio in width kilogram. This can be measured through the use of a bicycle power meter or calculated from measuring incline of a road climb and the rider's time to ascend it. Topic: Utility and practical vehicles. Most vehicles are designed to meet passenger comfort and cargo carrying requirements. Different designs trade off power to weight ratio to increase comfort, cargo space, fuel economy, emissions control, energy security and endurance. Reduced drag and lower rolling resistance in a vehicle design can facilitate increased cargo space without increase in the zero cargo power to weight ratio. This increases the roll flexibility of the vehicle. 
Energy security considerations can trade off power typically decreased and weight typically increased, and therefore power to weight ratio, for fuel flexibility or drive train hybridization. Some utility and practical vehicle variants such as hot hatches and sports utility vehicles reconfigure power typically increased and weight to provide the perception of sports car-like performance or for other psychological benefit. A locomotive generally must be very heavy in order to develop enough adhesion on the rails to start a train. As the coefficient of friction between steel wheels and rails seldom exceeds 0.25 in most cases, improving a locomotive's power-to-weight ratio is often counterproductive. However, the choice of power transmission system, such as variable frequency drive versus direct current drive, may support a higher power-to-weight ratio by better managing propulsion power. Topic. Notable low ratio <laughs> Topic. Common power Topic. Performance luxury, roadsters and mild sports Increased engine performance is a consideration, but also other features associated with luxury vehicles. Longitudinal engines are common. Bodies vary from hot hatches, sedans, saloons, coupes, convertibles and roadsters. Mid-range dual sport and cruiser motorcycles tend to have similar power to weight ratios. Topic: Sports vehicles. Power to weight ratio is an important vehicle characteristic that affects the acceleration of sports vehicles. Topic: Aircraft. Aircraft depend on high power to weight ratio to generate sufficient thrust to achieve sustained flight and then to fly fast. Topic. Thrust to weight ratio Jet aircraft produce thrust directly. Topic. Human Power to weight ratio is important in cycling, since it determines acceleration and the speed during hill climbs. Since a cyclist's power to weight output decreases with fatigue, it is normally discussed with relation to the length of time that he or she maintains that power. A professional cyclist can produce over 20 with kilogram as a 5 second maximum. A 225 pound touring cyclist coasting down an exhilarating 10 degree mountain slope at 35 miles per hour rates 62 pounds per horsepower. The calculation is demonstrative and does not imply terminal speed. The power figure is 3.6 horsepower. In ISO units, this is 27 with kilogram. In 60 seconds of such coasting, therefore, 39 kilocalories are lost, or 45 watt-hours. Climbing is the major impediment to progress on road when cycling. Topic. See also. Energy density Engine power Propulsive efficiency Specific output Thrust to weight ratio Vehicle metrics Von Karman-Gabrielli diagram